March 13th, 1997, a day that would forever etch itself into the annals of UFO history. Imagine the calm Nevada night suddenly pierced by a string of bright lights, silently gliding across the sky. This wasn't an isolated sighting. The lights moved, drawing a path from Nevada, through the heart of Arizona and down to Mexico, captivating hundreds, if not thousands, of onlookers. Witnesses were left in awe as the lights took on various formations. Some described a V-shaped object, massive in size, its silhouette blocking out the stars as it passed. Others reported floating orbs, moving in unison as if part of a grander design. The spectacle wasn't a fleeting moment either. The lights lingered, giving witnesses plenty of time to take in the spectacle and the enormity of what they were observing. This wasn't your typical shooting star or satellite passing by. No, this was something different, something that defied conventional explanation. Pilots, military personnel, even the Arizona governor, Fife Symington, were among those who bore witness to this spectacle. Their testimonies added credibility to an event that, on any other night, might have been dismissed as a trick of the light or a figment of collective imagination. But as the lights continued their dance across the night sky, the initial awe gave way to a sense of unease. Questions filled the minds of those who watched. What were these lights? Where did they come from? And perhaps most importantly, were we alone? As the night grew darker, the lights continued their dance, leaving a trail of awe, fear and bewilderment in their wake. In the cold light of day, the reality of what had transpired started to sink in. The Phoenix Lights incident had left an indelible mark, not only in the night sky, but also in the minds of those who bore witness to it. One could almost feel the collective gasp of a city, a state, a nation, as hundreds, possibly thousands, scrambled to make sense of what they had seen. The immediate aftermath was a whirlwind of confusion and intrigue. The public outcry for an explanation was deafening, echoing through the corridors of power. What were these mysterious lights? Where did they come from? What did they signify? The questions were many, the answers few and far between. In the midst of this clamour, some witnesses found themselves facing ridicule. Their accounts, once filled with wonder and awe, were now met with scepticism and dismissive chuckles. Yet, they stood firm, their convictions unshaken, their memories unfaded. In response to the escalating curiosity and concern, the government stepped in, attributing the lights to military flares and planes flying in formation. The official explanation was meant to provide solace, a comforting cloak of normalcy to drape over the inexplicable. Yet the explanation was met with raised eyebrows and shaking heads. Skepticism was rife, even from the highest echelons of the state's leadership. Then, Arizona Governor Fife Symington, himself a witness to the spectacle, voiced doubts about the military flares theory. His words echoed the sentiments of many, a resonating chord of disbelief in a symphony of uncertainty. While the official explanation aimed to quell the rising tide of speculation, it only served to fuel the fire, casting a shadow of doubt that lingers to this day. The Phoenix Lights incident had opened a Pandora's box of questions, setting the stage for a quest for answers that continues to captivate and confound. The lights may have faded, but their imprint remains, a haunting reminder of the night the sky danced with mystery. Over two decades have passed, yet the Phoenix Lights continue to captivate and confound. The incident, far from fading into the annals of forgotten mysteries, remains a vibrant topic of discussion, debate and investigation. Theories and explanations have swirled around the event from the very beginning with no consensus in sight. One of the most prevalent explanations attributes the Phoenix Lights to military exercises. It's been suggested that the lights were flares dropped by A-10 Thunderbolt II aircraft during Operation Snowbird. However, many witnesses remain skeptical of this explanation, citing the light's strange behavior and formation as evidence of something more extraordinary. And then, of course, there's the theory that continues to captivate the imagination of many, the possibility of an extraterrestrial origin, the sheer scale of the sighting, the silence of the craft, and the description of its massive size and V-shaped formation have led some to believe that the Phoenix Lights were not of this world. The Phoenix Lights have left a lasting impact on our culture. Filmmaker Seth Breedlove's documentary series, On the Trail of UFOs, delves into this impact, 
exploring the experiences of those involved in UFO encounters and the challenges they face in coming forward. The incident continues to inspire documentaries, books, and even an annual community event hosted by the Phoenix Lights Network. Research into this incident has never ceased. Efforts have been made to understand the phenomena scientifically, with the hope of shedding more light on this baffling event. Arizona, a hotspot for unidentified anomalous phenomena sightings, remains at the forefront of these research endeavors. Despite the passing of time and the myriad of explanations put forth, the Phoenix Lights continue to mystify us. They stand as a testament to the enduring human curiosity and our relentless pursuit of understanding. The Phoenix Lights remain a beacon of mystery in a universe teeming with the unexplained, a reminder of our ceaseless quest for answers. The Phoenix Lights, a mass UFO sighting, a government cover-up, or a misunderstood military exercise. As we draw the curtains on this intriguing piece of history, we are left with more questions than answers. The event of March 13th, 1997, where thousands witnessed an unexplained spectacle in the night sky, continues to captivate us. Was it a silent, massive V-shaped object blocking out stars, or merely flares and military aircrafts on a routine operation? We explored the immediate aftermath, the government's response attributing the lights to military exercises, and the skepticism that followed. We delved into the enduring quest for answers, the theories and explanations put forth, and the cultural impact this event had on the UFO community. The Phoenix Lights incident remains a significant chapter in UFO history, a testament to the human thirst for understanding the unknown. It has inspired documentaries, sparked debates, and even shifted perspectives on unidentified aerial phenomena. As we gaze up at the night sky, we are reminded of the Phoenix Lights, a spectacle that continues to inspire wonder, skepticism, and a thirst for understanding the unknown.